Hi everyone, Pete Calamain here. I hope you're having an awesome day. So in this quick video, I would like to show you how you can make an impedance profile in Altium Designer. By the way, if you want more hints, tips and tricks like this, feel free to join my free community. It's in the links below. So first of all, let's start with our layer stack up. So it is important that you are using a correct layer stack up. I have a full length video on that, but this is not what we're going to go into detail today. I suppose that this is correctly set and you go to the impedance tab and then you click add impedance profile. Now suppose that you want to have maybe let's say an impedance profile for a 50 ohm single track, maybe an antenna track. What you can do is here on the right hand side you select the type of profile you want. So we'll go ahead with single, target impedance can be 50 ohms and maybe let's say that our target tolerance we put it much closer we will use 1%. Now what this will do it is it's calculating for you and you need to select the layer. So if we want to have our track in our top layer, mid layer, typically that would be a ground reference plane. So you clearly see that over here, this is a micro strip line. Here's the signal in uh, the top layer. Then second layer is your ground reference that you would take. In that case, you need a width of 0 0.63 millimeters. So this is calculated for you. The deviation we have, well, the impedance is 50.01 and we have a deviation of 0.02%. So we are clearly in spec to what you want. Um, typically these you're not going to use and you have a symmetrical profile so both on top and on bottom this is the same width. So that's a very easy way to make a profile for a single ended track but let's maybe add an extra one for differential pair. Um, suppose you're making a USB design with a differential pair USB 2.0 typically around 90 ohms, it depends a bit from your application, but we want to go with 90 ohms target impedance. Of course, we need a differential pair. So it's calculating again, same thing as before, but right now you see there's two tracks on here. This is your differential pair and Altium will have calculated for you what you need to have. Now with 10% tolerance, we still end up at 90.02, so that's still very much okay. We know that the tracks have to be 0.32 millimeters wide and then the gap in between is 0.127. Typically this will be set to the minimum uh, design rule, minimum clearance that you are using. So very simple one, you can call it D90, that's your differential pair. Um, again, this is symmetrical, these two pairs will be ground reference uh, and then you have your differential pair that you can use. Now, where is this being used? Well, if you go to your PCB dock and then you go to design rules, you can use an impedance profile. So right here in the routing differential pairs routing rule, what you can tell the system is to use an impedance profile. So right now for differential pairs, of course, there's only the D90 that can be used. If you would have another differential uh, impedance, maybe a 75 ohms, uh, what have you, you could select that other differential pair impedance over here. You just use the profile, you apply it, and then every time that you're going to uh, make a differential pair where this is uh, added, it will be that impedance profile. You could always assign it to a net class as well to make it specific for that track. Same thing for the width of a single ended track. So again, um, ideally, I think you will use a net class there. So I have no net classes assigned, but this could be a net class antenna, which then applies to the tracks or the track that has to be an antenna. Again, you click use impedance profile, a single ended 50, and then all tracks within that net class will be drawn with this exact impedance profile. So I hope this quick video was interesting for you. Of course, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below and I'll be happy to help. If you liked the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you like the channel, feel free to subscribe. If you want more hints, tips and tricks like these, feel free to join my free community. It is in the links below. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.